Hello. Uh, I have got myself a turntable. Before that though, I have this in my possession. It is from 1964. The Beatles. It's a mono. Uh, this belongs to somebody, or did belong to somebody, uh, up here. It says, Mr. and Mrs. S.G.C. Hayes, yeah. uh, Checkers Court, Breach Lane, Walton on the Hill, Tadworth, Surrey. It does sound very posh. Now, the reason this is quite interesting, or one of the reasons, is because this is a first pressing. Um, I looked it up. It's not always obvious. Uh, one of the giveaways is, for example, the track listing on site 2 is one above the other. On some of the later press and pressings, the uh, it might be side by side. There's little subtle variations. There are three variations of the first pressing, apparently. And I think this was the second variation. So this would have been definitely from 1964. And at the start of the film, so the first side of the album are songs from the film. The second, uh, just an, a bunch of brilliant songs, not from the film. There's only 13 songs on the album. There probably should have been a 14th. Ringo is ill, so maybe that's why, because there's no Ringo singing on there. Uh, anyway, at the start of the film, they're running down a street and George falls over while being chased by lots of girls. And uh, last year I went there and this is a brief glimpse of what I came up with. This is a Mario the Bone station. Uh, in the hard days night, we saw a bit of this. I'm just about to cross the zebra crossing. <laughs> now, oh, a couple of football fans around today, Villa. Uh, no, there's a lady walking towards me. She's going to think I'm a bit of a, a weirdo. <laughs> or, you know, even worse. Anyway, um, this. Is the road that the Beatles ran down at the start of Hard Day's Night. I don't know if you can sort of get the picture. And I do believe this is where George fell over, wasn't it? So, yeah. Some very nice ladies coming towards me. So I don't want to actually have a look at that now. Oh, grab her. Um, so, anyway, Boston Place, next to the Mario Blow Station, which is where they went in. And uh, George Harrison runs and falls over, I do believe, as the uh, fans are chasing him. And that's the end of that. So, that was me in a place called Boston. Yeah, Boston Place, which is right next to Marie Le Bon Station, where a lot of the film was filmed. Right, anyway, uh, we're going to get on to the, the music in a minute. This little beauty was number two in the charts the week that I was born. And number two at Christmas 1971. Yes, I was born in 1971. Difficult to imagine, I know. But anyway, uh, Hot Hits Round 8, uh, apparently this version was called Hot Tits, or if you look at the poor girl, um, Hot Nips, although it might have been that she was cold. The guy behind, um, as you can see him behind, he, uh, he doesn't look very happy, does he? Uh, he, um, but I can smell his brute from here. Anyway, the reason that there are women on the cover in such 
I don't know, sort of pretty sexist, I suppose now. Um, it's because of these. Uh, this is Top of the Pops, and they started with these apparently, and then Hot Hits followed suit. Uh, this is one. This one's from 1974. This is a bit later, and um, so this was number two at Christmas. The number one album at Christmas was. If I remember off the top of my head, and I'm going to look at it, uh, it was Jeepster by T Rex. And the song Jeepster is actually on here. However, if you haven't guessed yet and you're not aware of these things, uh, the versions on here are not the originals. And yet these things sold by the millions. Now, the, the reason why these sold by the millions. Uh, because let's think of, you know, you think about it now, there's no way that you would buy an album with somebody else singing Ed Sheeran or Adele or whoever else is in, in the charts at the moment. Um, so number one, in the 70s, in the early 70s especially, late 60s, there were not uh, cassette recorders freely available like they are now. So people couldn't record stuff off the radio like they did later on. These were cheap. Albums and music were still relatively expensive to buy an album. And, you know, when people moan now about paying £12 a month for 50 million songs, uh, it's pretty good value, really, when you consider you would have had to fork out, you know, I mean, I used to walk into HMV and I could have spent £3,000 if I had it. Um, so that was, they were the reasons basically why these things used to sell loads. Um, also if a young, a young man or a young person and you see somebody in her early 70s uh, going down the street, remember that's how she used to look like. Okay. So on the top of the Pops one uh, which I've already lined up. There is uh, the two songs on here you definitely know. Um, well, quite a few, but side two starts with Waterloo, which obviously is ABBA, and then Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me by Elton John. And the reason that probably gave Elton a lot of satisfaction is because he used to record for these things. And there are versions out there of Elton doing Elder Stevie Wonder. And uh, if you remember, I did mention um, Love of the Common People. So I'm going to try and find that and put it on. But at the moment now, I'm just going to play uh, Waterloo. And then a bit of Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. Here we go. This is supposed to be Abba, remember. Turn it round, you don't want to look at me really, do you? Okay, so that's Waterloo. Okay, I'm gonna drop it now in the middle of Don't Let Your Sun Go Down On Me. Now apparently the budgets on these things were quite low. So considering I got, I got no idea who this guy singing is. There was a guy called Tony Rivers and he was quite in, involved, so it might be him. Hang on, here we go. Don't let the 
got credited on these things so um, who knows there's plenty of them around uh, um, and they were very successful but you just can't imagine it happening now can you just just wouldn't just wouldn't happen so anyway I'm just gonna try and put up on here now the Elton John versions of or bits of the versions of I think signed sealed delivered I'm yours and love of the common people so there we go i got some more 80 singles to finish off with soon uh, and i'm trying to get some really cheap stuff now off ebay and i'm gonna clean up my my uh my collection tidy it up and sort it up thank you for watching Water in the milk from the hole in the roof where the rain came through. What can we do? Oh, oh, oh. Tears from your little sister. Crying because she doesn't have a dress without a patch for the party to go. Oh, but you know, she'll get by. Push, she's a